Alright, we're going to begin lesson 2.14. We're going to be finding the surface area of the spheres. Yippee! Keep on adding your course and section number with all communication so I can help you faster. In this lesson, let's see what we're going to do. We're going to develop the formula for surface area. We're going to use that formula. And since we're going to use volume to calculate density, just going over the parts with you again. This is your center, here's your radius, and remember your diameter goes through the center and touches both sides. Here is our formula for finding the surface area of a sphere. You're going to take 4 and then multiply it by the area of the circle. Okay, pi r squared is the area of a circle. You're going to multiply that by 4. You're going to draw the figure and label it if it's not already done for you. And notice that this 42 is your diameter, so you're going to have to divide it by 2 to get the radius. You've got to write down your formula. Oh, goodness. I just skipped a whole part. Um, we're, we have, the only variable that you're going to have to worry about is the radius. And we know that we're going to have to divide the radius by 2, or the diameter by 2. We're going to get 21. So notice I left out pi in my calculation, so I've got 4 multiplied by 21 squared, which gives me 1,764 pi centimeters squared for the exact answer for my surface area. Okay. Now then, if I'm going to do the approximate, I'm going to take that 1,764, I'm going to multiply it by pi, and this will be my approximate answer, 5,541.77 centimeters squared. Next, uh, I'm going to have this sphere that has a radius of 16. Okay, there's my formula. Identify my variable is 16 for my radius. I'm going to plug it in, 4 pi, 16 squared. See how I'm plugging it in without the pi? So my exact answer is 1,024 pi kilometers squared. And then to get my approximation, I just take that answer of 1,024, multiply it by pi, I get 3,217.0 kilometers squared. Anytime this will round like that, you just always put zero. And notice how I took the 6 and rounded it up to 7. But you put 0 because what that does is show that you actually did round it. Here's our summary. The surface area of a sphere with the radius of r is s equals 4 pi r squared. That's a squared, not a normal 2. And so there's the formula written out as it should be. And you need to be doing this lesson in the LMS and reading up on it in your reference guide. Please work these problems in the problem set to get you prepared to take the quiz. And after you do these uh, practice problems, if you have any questions, please contact me and get them answered before you take the quiz so you'll be able to do your best. And that's going to be all for this lesson, and thank you for listening.